Welcome to the first ever Lug vs. Vera Bradley video on Lugnut TV. This is not a brand comparison, this is a bag comparison, so keep that in mind. I'm going to be moving through this as objectively as I can. Except I'm struggling a little bit loosening that Vera Bradley strap. Okay, so both bags have two slip pockets in the front with flap closures. The Lug bag has two flaps, the Vera Bradley has one. Both bags have a total of two hidden magnetic closures, keeping those flaps closed. And above the flap pockets on both bags, there is a zip pocket. These are not the main compartments. Now, it's a little difficult to see inside of the Vera Bradley bag. Keep in mind that I am using the same exact lighting for both videos, but the Vera Bradley bag has a dark lining. There are no organizational features inside of the Vera Bradley bag in that pocket, but there are several in the lug bag. I'll see if I can get you a better shot later on of what the inside of that pocket looks like, but in the Happy Camper, you have two pen slots, two cargo pockets, and card holders. Above that, in the Happy Camper, you have a spot for your cell phone. The back of the Vera Bradley bag has a slip pocket, but it doesn't go all the way across the bag. It's just in the center. It does run down to the bottom of the bag, but you can only put something slim back there. Remember, the Happy Camper has two spots for water bottles on the sides of the bag. The back pocket on the Happy Camper does run the entire width of the bag and almost the full height of the bag. Again, it's a little difficult to see inside of the Vera Bradley bag, but I'll walk you through it. So both bags have privacy zip pockets on the back wall of the main interior. In the lug bag, you also get a key bungee and two stretchy cargo pockets. And then in the Vera Bradley bag, you also get two cargo pockets, but they will not be elasticized. So on the bottom of the bags, you get a wipeable bottom with lug, and in Vera Bradley, it's the same fabric as the rest of the bag. And here are the fabrications up close. Now, originally, this is where the video ended, but I went back the next day and did another shoot because it didn't feel like that was enough information. So there is a part two to this video, and I'm going to show everything you can fit inside these bags. First, I'm gonna start with the Happy Camper because obviously we can fit more in this bag. So I'm gonna put everything you see here in this bag and then show you afterward which of those items can fit in the Vera Bradley bag. And just so you remain well informed, I'm using a tram wallet with both bags. The iPad is 9.7 inches and the cell phone is 6.4 inches. And here is the key bungee inside of the Happy Camper. Now, a few reasons why I decided to bring in a Vera Bradley bag to finally compare to a lug bag is number one, there are a lot of lug nuts who collect both brands. Number two, there are a lot of Vera Bradley collectors out there who have never heard of lug. So it might be fun for them to see another brand that also offers functionality and fashion in case they want to branch out or add to their collection. Now the cell phone isn't staying there because all I wanted to do was show you how a 6.4 inch phone can fit in one of those pockets if you're not going to use the cell phone pocket that comes with this bag because I don't. I actually put the phone in the front flap, but you can fit a cell phone in the softline cargo pockets in this compartment as well. So between this 12 ounce bottle of water, the six ounce memo bottle you saw me put in the previous compartment and this 20 ounce tumbler, that's 38 ounces I would be walking around with in this bag. So with the pop tarts and the cell phone being packed away, we have now wrapped up the Happy Camper packed and we're going to see which of these items can fit in the mail bag. Now the first thing I want to do is give you a better look at the inside of this bag because we weren't able to see it before. Mm -hmm. 
Since the Vera Bradley bag doesn't come with designated pen holders, I'm gonna put them in the cargo pocket and then put the cell phone charger behind that. So they're gonna share space, it'll work fine. And then I have my glasses in the other cargo pocket and that takes up all of the cargo pocket space. So because the cargo pockets are too narrow for a wallet, the tram wallet and the baby wipes are gonna sit in the main compartment of the bag. Remember, that's where we had the planner in the happy camper. And I wasn't sure what I was going to put back here originally. That's why I even grabbed the memo bottle because I knew it would fit that pocket perfectly. And then the only thing I'm going to put in the front compartment is going to be the iPad. Remember, the iPad went in the back pocket in the happy camper. And there are no side cargo pockets on this bag. That's why I sort of had to make my own water bottle holder in the back. Now, because that back pocket is narrow and it's only in the middle portion of the bag, it actually makes the bag a little bit bulky. So after the Pop-Tart and the cell phone are in here, that wraps up this bag. You can see what's left over. And I'll show you what I mean on the back of the bag here. So that's gonna wrap up the comparison. See, that wasn't so bad. Let's see how the bags are getting along now. See, we're all friends here. Hang on, we got a bag of Lini here. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all next time.